back. Super Mario All-Stars. I mean, seriously? Kirby's Adventure. Kirby's Avalanche. Donkey Kong Country 2. Tetris and Dr. Mario. Super Mario World. Tetris 2. two. I mean, just, it goes on and on. This is just part of them. Make a score. Hey, what's up guys? COE33 here with my sister Leaf. Morning, guys. We're out doing some game hunting and we woke up really early today and paid off because the first garage sale we went to, we got a real big score. There were no games out and about and I asked him, do you have any games? And he said, yeah, I've got some NES stuff, some Nintendo 64 things, I'll go get it for you. So he comes out with a big tote and uh, I rifled through it real quick and I could tell I definitely wanted it. There was some good things in there and uh, we went back and forth on the price quite a bit. We ended up settling on $40 and for $40 we got a stack of games and we got some systems, original Xbox as well, some controllers. Uh, we'll go over it all later but really good score right off the bat so I hope that uh, is the trend for the day and continues. So uh, on to the next stop. On to the next stop. All right see you then. We just went to another garage sale and got this stack of video games right here for 20 bucks which just by itself is a really good deal. But I opened up one of the games, Baby Pals, and inside of there was, for the 3DS, Pokemon X. Let's see if it can focus in on that. There we go. So just by itself, that's worth probably 20 plus dollars. So that paid for the whole stack. So really good score. Today's been awesome. I wish every day of game hunting was like this. So uh, we're going to keep looking. Yeah. All right, when it rains, it pours. Another really good garage sale. We pull up to a garage sale, a couple nice old ladies. Uh, no games out and about. And as I always do, I say, do you have any games? Nintendo, Sega, Atari. I start naming them off so that they, you know, sometimes they don't think they have anything. And then you say uh, a system or a company and it rings a bell. And she's like, oh, yeah, I've got some old video games. I didn't think they were worth anything, so I wasn't even going to put them out. But I'll go look for them. And she digs around in her shed for a good 20 minutes, and we're just sitting there kind of looking at their random tchotchkes and t-shirts and stuff. And then she comes out, and why don't you show them the stack leaf? There's She brings out these VHS cassette tapes, and inside of here is Super Nintendo games in really good shape. The first one I opened up was Donkey Kong Country, and the other ones are like Space Invaders and... Um, Oh, I forget. I'll have to look at them again. And then she brings out this binder, and this is full of PS1 and PS2 games. They're loose, but they're good titles. Final Fantasy VII, uh, Twisted Metal IV, the Ratchet and Clank games, Jack and Daxter games, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, there must be 50 games in there. And I was pretty excited, and I offered $20, which I wish I had offered less because she was thrilled with $20. She couldn't believe I was giving her that much. Um, it's a heck of a deal, don't get me wrong, you know, Donkey Kong Country is worth 15 bucks by itself, um, so I probably could have gotten them for five, but that's okay, good deal, and, uh, great deal, cars full of games, she did say she has some more Super Nintendo games, and she's gonna dig them out and give us a call, so hopefully that comes through, because who knows what she has, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep looking, it's 10.20, and, uh, we're gonna keep on looking and trucking and, keep on trucking, that's right another garage sale and although we didn't find any video games we did find some pretty awesome action figures we got all these for five bucks which is a score and a half i mean this thing alone i would have paid five dollars for love it and you know i know i know who this is but i can't think of it at the moment someone let me know is that dragon ball z i probably should know this huh <laughs> and then we got batman and we got harry potter as well so definitely a deal and a half all right awesome deal on all of these yep all right, so since we've last talked to you, we picked up two PS3 controllers for $5 and a giant box of vinyl. We also collect records for $10. Some good stuff in there, Tom Jones, Aretha Franklin. But uh, that's not the big deal. The big deal is those ladies that we bought the Super Nintendo stuff off of earlier and said they might have more games. She gave us a call and said, come on back, I've got some more stuff for you. And we did, we drove about a good half an hour back to their place and oh my gosh, they had two boxes stocked totally full, PS1 
and Super Nintendo. We got Super Nintendo System, we got a PS1, and we got a whole bunch of box six, or Super Nintendo games, including things like the Super Game Boy here, uh, Tetris 2, Donkey Kong, Kirby, all kinds of just amazing stuff, a huge score. We ended up paying $50 for all that. The PS1, same deal, there's Metal Gear Solid and Tomb Raiders and Resident Evils and all kinds of great stuff in really good condition. So this has got to be the best deal we've ever had. Um, just really thrilled. This is awesome. So uh, we'll see you back in the game room. See you back in the game room. All right, guys, we're back from game hunting, and as you know from the title of this video and from the car footage that you've already seen, this was a pretty incredible day. This was by far the best day of game hunting Leaf or I have ever had. Um, really stoked on what we found today. We added up all the games and then what they were worth, basically. So with the games and consoles that we picked up today, well over $1,000 worth of stuff. Now, we don't collect for um, monetary reasons. This is not about value. We have been gaming our whole life. Um, it's about playing and collecting, but I do think it's interesting what things are worth and it's fun to get a good deal. And when I see other people do their game hunting videos, I like to see what they paid for their game, especially when they're going to garage sales and, uh, thrift stores and stuff like that. So we tell prices and just cause we think it's interesting, it's nice to know what your collection is worth. Um, but that is not our sole purpose for, uh, for collecting. We set, do sell or trade things when we get doubles. Um, but we're not out there, like, we're not resellers that uh, go and buy up all this stuff and have, like, a store or a uh, a stall at a thrift market or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not what we do. Uh, the majority of what we got today will be in our collection unless we already own it, which there is a fair amount of stuff that we already own. Okay, that said, Leaf is back here playing Space Harrier 2, and as usual, she's having a lot of fun with that. She's been playing a lot of the games you've probably noticed um, from the Sega Classics collection on Steam. We're saving right now for a game capture card, and the one that we're looking at is about 150 bucks. Um, when we get that, she'll be able to play the different consoles, like the Wii or whatever, Xbox, Super Nintendo, um, and there'll be more variety in the games that she's playing. Uh, right now, we're using Fraps on the PC to record games, and we have the Sega collection on the Steam, so uh, that seems to be the best thing to capture at the moment, um, but there will be more variety in the future when we have that. Um, moving on to the games. First garage sale of the day. Uh, no games were out. Walked up to the guy, nice guy, said, do you have any games? He says, yeah, actually I have a bunch of games. NES, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis. You know, that piques my interest. That's definitely what you want to hear. So he goes into his house. He brings out a big old tote full of games. I didn't have to look through it much to start negotiating. I said, how much do you want for the whole tote? And we went back and forth on the price quite a bit. He was pretty firm on 60 and I didn't really want to pay 60 because we actually have most of this. So reluctantly, he ended up agreeing to $40, which is a really good deal on our part. Um, we got a NES toaster with four controllers and the hookups. He says it works great. We haven't plugged it in to confirm that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dr. Mario, Tetris, Snake Rattle and Roll, WrestleMania, Super Mario Duck Hunt, Super Mario 2, and RC Pro-Am. We own all those except for RC Pro-Am and Snake Rattle and Roll. So those two will go into our collection. The other ones will be traded or flipped. We also got a NES Zapper. We have the orange one, but we don't have a gray one. This one's in really good condition, so we're definitely keeping that. Tony Hawk Pro Skater for the Nintendo 64, along with a Smoke Gray N64 with its expansion pack and all its hookups. He says he hasn't tested this in a long time, so he doesn't know if it works. Uh, we have not tested it yet to confirm whether it does or not. Two off-brand Nintendo 64 controllers, and then a few Sega Genesis games. Two copies of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, one copy of Sonic the Hedgehog, and then NFL Quarterback 96 complete in box. There's so many games here that what I'm going to do is cut right now, and then I'm going to move all this stuff out and move more games in, and that's kind of how this video is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, I forgot to mention from that last garage sale, in that tote there was also an original Xbox. We already have two of those, so now we have three. I usually hold on to those just because out of all the game consoles, it's the original Xboxes and the Xbox 360s that seem to die the most. Uh, I have more problems, especially with the original Xboxes. The hardware just sucks on these things. Um, they just die left and right, so I like to hold on to those. All right, from there we went to another garage sale, walked up 
onto the sale and there was like a shelf of games and I just grabbed the whole stack and said how much for everything and we negotiated back and forth and we ended up paying twenty dollars so for twenty dollars we got a loose copy of Dead Rising which I haven't played yet and I'm looking forward to trying that Halo Reach Halo 3 Essentials now I believe this is part of a limited edition uh, set Dante's Inferno we just recently picked up a copy of this so we already have this Fallout 3, we have this for the PC, but not for the Xbox 360, now we do. Fallout New Vegas, Fable The Lost Chapters, Call of Duty World at War, Battlefield Bad Company 2, and Baby Pals. Now, we could care less about this, this does not look very interesting to either of us, but as you may know from the car footage, when we opened it up in the car, inside of there was, sure enough, Pokemon X. And by itself, this is worth over $20 loose. So that paid for the whole stack. And that's kind of how today has been. It's just been a really incredible day. Um, and we don't have that for the 3DS yet. So now we do, which is pretty cool. From there, we went to another garage sale. And there were no games there. But they did have some pretty neat action figures that we picked up for a dollar a piece. So for a dollar a piece, we got kind of Old Man Hulk here. Really nice details on this. Leaf picked out this little troll guy. Not sure what he's from. Uh, here's an action figure. Now, he looks really familiar. Is this Dragon Ball Z? If anyone knows what this is from, let me know. I know I probably should know this, but I don't. He has Junior on his head, and he's sucking on a pacifier. Really nice action figure. A Batman. And then a Harry Potter action figure. All right, from that garage sale, we went to the best garage sale that we've ever been to. Two very nice, sweet old ladies. There were no games out and about. It was just t-shirts and like glassware and just random tchotchkes. Nothing even remotely interesting. And I went ahead and did what I always do. I asked, do you have any video games? And I started listing off you know, NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, Atari 2600. It's what I always do because sometimes you jog people's memory. And she goes, well, yeah, I have that stuff. But I didn't even bother bringing it out because I didn't think anybody would be interested. <laughs> And I'm like, well, I'm interested, and I have cash. And she goes, okay, well, I'll go looking. So she starts digging through her house and her shed, and she's, you know, gone for like 20 minutes, like literally 20 minutes. And we're just kind of hanging out. And she comes back, and she has a binder. And in this binder, it's full of original PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games, and pretty good stuff, like every single Crash Bandicoot game, all the Jack and Daxter games, all the Sly Cooper games, Twisted Metal games, uh, Final Fantasy VII. It just goes on and on. I mean, it's packed. A bunch of PlayStation demo discs. So that was pretty cool. I wish they were complete in box, but I, you know, I'm not going to complain. There's still some really good games, and they're all, like, no scratches on them. They've been well taken care of. And she has a bunch of Super Nintendo games. Wing Commander. Toy Story. Space Invaders. It's in a VHS uh, case for some reason. Miss Pac-Man. These are all like in mint condition labels and they have manuals with them. And then Donkey Kong Country, which was the one I was most interested in because I don't have this yet, or I should say we don't have this yet. And I went ahead and offered 20 bucks and she was thrilled with that. She couldn't believe it. So I knew I offered too much. Um, but it's such a good deal on our part that I don't feel bad about that. So everybody's happy. You know, we got a bunch of games for $20 and she's thrilled and we're happy. So that's good. Before we left, she says, you know, I think I have a lot more games. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Well, I'll leave my number with you, and if you find them, go ahead and give me a call. Now, I've done this many times, and it's very rare when the people call back. And I'm so thankful that this lady did call back. I know you've watched the car footage, so you've seen that she calls back. And uh, I'll show you that in a second. But before she called back, we went to a couple more garage sales. So we went to a garage sale. They didn't have any games out, but they did have some PlayStation 3 controllers. So we got two more official Sony PlayStation 3 controllers. We now have four PlayStation 3 controllers, which is good. And then we went to a garage sale and got some uh, vinyl records. You see that box back there? That's full of some pretty decent vinyl records. We got like Tom Jones and Aretha Franklin and all in really good shape. And that was $10 for that whole box. Now, while I'm paying for that, these nice old ladies gave me a call and said, we found uh, a bunch more games. You want to come check them out? I'm like, yeah, I'll be there right away. So we were pretty far away at that point. We had gone one town over. We were about a half an hour away. And uh, we went ahead and 
went right over there so I'm glad we did. So I'm going to move this stuff out and I'm going to show you the best haul of the day and probably the best haul that we've ever had. So when we pulled back up to the garage cell there was a fire truck coming at us with their sirens on so we pulled over and apparently the person across the street from the two nice old ladies that were selling us the video games uh, was having a health concern so I hope they're okay because that's not anything you ever want to see. So we let the firemen do their thing and uh, stayed in the car and then when they were kind of uh, done we got out and we went and saw the old ladies. Um, I don't know their name so I hate calling them old ladies that's so rude but you know, what are you going to do? So anyways, we uh, pulled up and they said, oh, come on, we got some boxes to show you. And we went into a covered patio area. And sure enough, there's two big boxes. One of them has a PS2 console and a bunch of really good condition PS1 games. And the other box was almost like, you know, a pile of gold kind of shining. And you see it and you're like, oh my gosh, it was box Super Nintendo games, which you really don't see very often. At least we don't see it very often. Um, I've seen like... Uh, other game hunters on YouTube where they'll come across stuff like this, box Super Nintendo, and I'm always like, wow, I wish that happened to us. Well, it did today. So let's start with the PlayStation box. Um, oh, and we paid $50 total for both boxes, uh, which is a heck of a deal. Really good deal. And they were thrilled with it. They ended up getting $70 total from us that day, and they said that was the only sale they made all day. So they were over the moon. We were over the moon because, you know, the value here is pretty significant. So we got a PS2 console. We already have one of these, but this one's actually in really good shape. It might be in better shape than ours. Um, we ended up getting a sealed copy of Siphon Filter, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. These are all in, like, brand new condition. Metal Gear Solid, Soul Blade, Tomb Raider 2, NASCAR 98, Nagano Winter Olympics, Siphon Filter 2, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, Tekken 3, Star Wars Masters, Spider-Man, Gran Turismo, and a really nice copy of Resident Evil 2. That's like my favorite survival horror game of all time. I love that thing. Such a good game. I love the Resident Evil games. I would like to get a complete set of Resident Evil games. We have, uh, oh gosh, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. We have all of them for the Sega Dreamcast. We have Code Veronica. Um, we still need, I would like to get the Resident Evil long box for the PlayStation 1. That's something I'm on the lookout for, but we're getting pretty close to having all the Resident Evil games. Uh, okay, so on to the box of Nintendo 64 slash Super Nintendo stuff. There were some promotional VHS tapes in there, which is kind of cool. Definitely a neat, interesting thing to add to the collection. Um, I haven't seen these before. Uh, I know I've seen them on eBay, but I have not seen them in person, so that's really cool. There was a random Atari 5200 game. There was a Super Nintendo cleaning kit. A really nice condition, no yellowing or anything like that, Super Nintendo. This is better than our Super Nintendo, so we'll be switching that out. And then a whole bunch of games. Starting with all these. Now the manuals are all in here. These are not the complete in box games, but some really good stuff. Donkey Kong Country 2. All the labels on these are like mint. Uh, Super Mario uh, All-Stars, real good pickup there. Kirby's Avalanche, another great pickup. These are games that we've been wanting to add to the collection. Surprisingly, the most valuable game in the lot, I didn't even I wasn't familiar with this game, Rock and Roll Racing. Loose, this is worth like $35 or something like that. I'll have to look it up again. Tetris and Dr. Mario. Super Mario World. Tetris Attack. And then last but not least for the day, the boxed Super Nintendo games. Tetris 2. Wild Snake, one of my favorite scores of the day, a complete in box Super Game Boy. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. I was just going to pick one up loose on eBay at some point. But sure enough, there we go, boxed version of it. Everything's in there, all the flyers and all that. So that's pretty awesome. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Arkanoid and Paperboy 2 complete in the box. So yeah, pretty epic score there. So that concludes this week's On the Hunt. I really appreciate you guys watching. I want to give some shout outs to some of our subscribers. Um, we've only been doing these YouTube videos for about two months. Right now we have about 25 subscribers 
And that's pretty good, I would say, considering we're very new to YouTube and I know it's a saturated market. Um, I want to give shout outs to Chris P. He has been commenting on our videos almost from day one. And he does collection videos as well, like pickup videos. And he has a great collection of statues and uh, sealed games, uh, a lot of PlayStation 3 stuff, a good variety of games. A really nice guy. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it. Go check out his channel. I will leave a uh, link to it in the comment section below. Um, Classic Contagious Gaming, thank you for subscribing and commenting. Uh, Chris Miller, thank you. Appreciate it. Retro J, thank you. I will leave links to all these people in the comment section below. If you can check out their channels and subscribe to them, that would be great. And anybody that I'm forgetting to say right now, I apologize. I will leave a link to your channel as well. Um, that's something I hope to do semi-regularly uh, when we have new subscribers. Uh, I'll go ahead and give them shout-outs because it's just you know the right thing to do, and it's a small community, and I just kind of want to encourage that. Um, Along with that, I want to let you know that uh, Leaf and I were talking about it, and when we hit 50 subscribers, we want to do a giveaway. So we're going to go through our collection and find something nice for you guys. When we hit 50 subscribers, the first On the Hunt episode that we do after we hit 50 subscribers, at the end of that, we will let you know the details, what game we're giving away, uh, how we're going to do it, and so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're certainly pretty happy with it. Um, and uh, yeah, take care. Until next time, bye. Quite the haul, huh? Uh huh. Especially, especially the pickup with those two nice, awesome ladies. Yep. Now break out the Q-tips and start cleaning. Hey, <laughs> you pick. You. You use those Q-tips. I'm not gonna use those Q-tips. Don't you want our games to be clean? I do, but not. Not with Q-tips. You know how long that'll take? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs>